We knew that a lot of people eat with their eyes, and so we wanted. She wanted it to be gorgeous, you know, glamorous cup. That's why she wanted the gold lid and all of that stuff. But I guess she made the right decision, because I was against it. I was like, no gold. I thought it was gonna be easy, you know, make some sorbet. And they have a filling machine, but it costs about ten thousand dollars. And being a small business, we can't afford that right now. So we have to put in the labor. Elvis Presenti, who has a degree in computer engineering, and Melissa Darville, a special needs teacher, have put their employment on hold and shifted their focus to creating a novelty that one might say is second to none. After two years of trial and error, Shiva was born. Well, Melissa, she always wanted to make, a, to make ice, cream. A, ice cream company. Yeah. But when I got a hold of it, I bought a, a small little ice cream maker for her birthday with the intentions of starting this company in some aspect. We went to Super Value, we bought a bunch of stuff. We got a general idea of what it would cost to make ice cream. So then we just started researching it. We actually started, we're gonna make gelato at first, which is Italian ice cream. And then somehow we just started evolved the sorbet. Fruit and then we started um, making sorbet with the fruit. And so that was nice. And, and, people, was different. and people really and people loved really it. Loved the the response was excellent. So we just thought that we had a good, pretty good idea. It took us two years from the initial little ice cream maker to, to get to where we sold our first commercial batch. We made batches for months before we actually went commercial. We would buy the little cups from Variety and people would be like, you know, it tastes good, you should just put it on the market. But we knew that we didn't want to put anything on the market without the complete package. And we went to the government and we got a couple government exemptions on certain things. So the government, they actually held this, this things in place for BA means if you just read the laws and know what's going on to be able to find success in the Bahamas. Our daughter, Celeste, you know, when she was younger. She called lip gloss Shiva. Shiva. And so we always thought that was cute. So when we came, we were coming up with names. We had a list of stuff from Flamingo, Hibiscus, all type of stuff, but we always kept going back to that. Yeah. Because, you know, you could lead it to a different, a lot of different things. Yeah. And so we just. And Shiva, you know, cool. When you cool, you shiver a little bit. The sorbet manufacturing has taken off, and as fate would have it, Everything, according to Elvis Presenti, took shape from the sorbet to its packaging. Now the place which once housed the school for special needs children is the home of the shiver. We were just talking about this. You have to, it's more than just having an idea, but you have to have the fortitude to follow through. And when something doesn't work, you have to have the mindset to research and find out why and find out how you can get it to work. It's not that it's just it wouldn't work, you just have to figure it out. And you gotta be willing to fail at certain things because a lot of flavors we made that we were giving out testers and you gotta take time to plan it. People would be like, nah, I don't like that one. No, you know. But you gotta be willing to take that also, that everything that you do will not be successful. It's been a lot of people who helped us on the way, because this is a mom's building. And you know, this one of the freezers, a lady from Life at Key who bought the product, just hit start, and then it go who bought the product from us. She had an extra freezer and she just sent it over. We don't even know her, I don't even know her name. But she was just like, you know, these kids seem like they're doing something good. I send over a freezer and stuff like that. You know, there, there are a lot of good people in the Bahamas. I know on the news you hear a lot about the violence and stuff that's going on. But with this business, uh, there's been a ton of people who've just been willing to help us for nothing. I mean, a lot of people even come to us buy like $20, $30 and take it to their particular office and try to get us some sales. And we're really appreciative of stuff like that. And we don't spend any money on marketing. Our whole marketing plan was to drop off some samples and if people liked it, they liked it. If they didn't, then they didn't. And we've gone a long way with that. Where we were after about two months was where we projected to be after about probably the first year. So. The business has been really growing and hopefully we can start to turn a, a profit in the coming year. The packaging is really good. Where did that come from? Um, it was designed by a college friend of mine and Melissa was actually the one who was knowing everything. She, I was like, just pick one already, please. Every, everyone, she's like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. No, no. I was getting frustrated. I was like, just pick one. Whatever you pick is going to look good. 
So eventually she came to this one that she really liked and she knew that she wanted the gold lid. My only thing was I wanted the spoon inside. Because you know when you used to get the little ice creams when you were little with the wooden ice cream spoon? Yes, I always, we, we wanted that. that, that so that's how we ended up with the spoon in the lid. Where do you get the motivation and the inspiration from? I guess we have. No, we <laughs> just have a lot of ideas, here, like a book of ideas or different things. We're always trying different stuff. Yeah. It's just this one, we really felt it had some growth to it yeah. and we could really do and something is, with it. And this is only the so. first step of the whole company. We have yeah. at least four more phases that we, we plan to. on implementing. You know, as time goes on, you make some more money to be able to afford it. And just what goes into making these novelties that feature flavors ranging from tamarind, mango, and passion fruit to guava, pineapple, and soursop? Sorbet is basically ice cream without the dairy. So we have the fruit here. So what we put in the sorbet basically is fruit, water, and sugar. I mean, some places they put a base in there with a lot of preservatives and emulsifiers and stuff, but we don't use any of that. We just use basically fruit, sugar, a little lime, and water. So it's more like a Bahamian flavor. Yeah, it's a Bahamian flavor. This is sauce up. We have tamarind, mango, pineapple, guava. And, but we get the fruit frozen out of Colombia. Because they don't, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to sustain it with our little sour up tree out there. <laughs> so here's the sugar. Yeah. And we use our recipe, we know exactly, we measure everything to try to keep it consistent. And it's all because of a team effort and putting heads together that Shiver is now on shelves locally, as this duo plans to further enhance their initiative.